Hey, welcome back to another video in our Android Services series. In this video, we're going to do the dialing and phone calling. So in this video, it's probably dialing. We'll save calls for next. Let's go see what this is in the documentation. So I'm switching back into this website at developer.android.com. And the section that I'm looking at is called phone. Now notice here that there are two actions. You see this one called action underscore dial and another one called action call. They're slightly different. So dial is the simpler one. This one here will open up the dialer and it will display the phone number, but the user must press, press the call button. So the user has some interactions there. Now if you want to make a call directly, you have to use the call action. It says here, when the app opens, it begins the phone call and the user does not need to press the call button. So since that kind of takes control away from the user, there's another option here or another requirement that we need to add call phone permissions to your manifest file. So that's a little more complex. Let's do the simple one first, which is action dial. So let's get down into the sample code here. So an example intent here, it looks like dial phone number. Let's go ahead and copy their code and let's see if we can implement it in our program. So let's go into Android Studio and add the function at the bottom of the page. So it looks to me like it's going to put a prefix of tell, colon, and then a phone number, which is a string. And then it will call the activity with an intent. All right, let's get that information and pass it down. So let's go to the top of the page here and let's add another reference to a new button. So this is called button dial. And let's see, the reference is going to be BTN dial, find view by ID, and we got the dial part in the layout. Okay, the next part down is to create a button listener. Okay, so this standard routine now, we have a set on click listener and we create a new click listener. Now let's put in the function here of what we're trying to do. This was called dial phone number. So I'll copy the exact name from down here and put it into my uh, code at the top. We need to get the string from our entry point. So let's go with this idea here, et data, and let's uh, insert it into there and get the uh, colon, or semicolon, and parentheses correct. All right, so that should be up and running. That was pretty easy. Let's see what the actual code requires us to do. Much similar to the previous ones, and let's see if it runs. Right, it looks like our program's running, so let's go ahead and dial something. I don't know what this number is. I'm going to make up one. The poor fellow that gets this on the other end, I'm sorry. Let's see, we'll dial, and up comes the phone dialer. And sure enough, it's ready to go. So I am going to try to make that phone call. Who knows if that's even in the United States. Let's cancel it before anyone answers me. Okay, so you can see I had to press the dial button, and it would bring in the phone services. So that was pretty simple. The next one's a little more complex is we're going to actually go straight to the dialing or skip the dialing and go straight to the phone call. 